State University. My name's Nicole. Today I'll be doing a short demonstration on how to apply image transfers using Miscellian's transfer medium. This medium is used to apply laser printed images like this to painted surfaces, wood, stone, or metal. This is an example of an image transfer that I did on a painted wooden box. This box was painted using Miss Land's No Wax Chalk Paint in the color Cobblestone. So I am going to turn the camera around and I will be right back to demonstrate this product. Hello everyone. So I am back. This is the piece that I'm going to demonstrate how to complete an image transfer. This piece was previously painted using Miscellaneous No Wax Chalk Paint in Cobblestone. This is just one coat, a very light coat. I wanted that shabby chic feel. And something to note, if you're going to be applying an image transfer on a painted piece, this piece needs to cure for at least three days before you attempt to apply an image transfer. And then as I noted earlier, any image that you apply to your uh, piece, it needs to be a laser print. So that means you can print it at home if you have an inkjet and then go to your nearest office supply store and just have them make a copy. This image can be black and white or color like this one. If you have text, just make sure that you get the reverse image so that way the text comes out the right way. So then your next step would be if you have any extra white on the image, you're going to want to trim as much as that away that you can. So for today's demonstration, this is the transfer that I'm going to apply to this jewelry box. And as you can see, I've already trimmed the excess white away. It doesn't have to be perfect. So then the next thing, we're going to take our image transfer cream. And then I have a popsicle stick just to stir it, just because you don't want to have any of those properties settled to the bottom. And then you're going to just pour a little bit into a bowl. You never want to paint directly out of the container because you risk contamination. So now you're going to apply a medium to thick coat of image transfer cream directly to your piece. So I'm going to check to make sure I went wide enough and I need to go a little more up top. All right, so now you're gonna take this image and you're gonna apply it face down. So you want your printed image face down. And don't worry if you have excess medium. You can wipe it once you've set your image. You can just use a damp rag. So now you're going to want to just go and push the image down into the transfer cream and make sure it's set. You can slide it a little bit if it's offset or you move it by accident. And you just want to make sure that your edges are really good and pressed down and that there's no bubbles. You can also use like an old gift card or a Mod Podge roller if you want as well if you have excess bubbles. And then I just take a damp rag and wipe off any excess medium. All 
And like I said, just make sure that your edges and everything is nice and smooth and you don't have any bubbles. And then we're gonna let this sit for 45 minutes and then we're gonna come back and I'll show you what you need to do next. Okay, so we let this dry for 45 minutes and now we're going to do the next step. You can see that it's nice and dry. So now you're gonna take just a sponge and you wanna just get it damp, not soaking wet, but damp. And then you're just gonna go over the image you can see how it's you know changing colors and you can either s scrub away the pulp with this same sponge and you just gently rub away that paper pulp and you can see underneath that image is starting to pop through and then this is why that we say to trim any of the excess white because it's just less um, scrubbing you're going to have to do when you get to this point. The other option you have is once you've gotten it damp, like right here, you can also use your finger. That way you can um, not scrub too hard and um, you have a little more control. And you're going to continue this step until you've gotten all the pulp off of the image. If your image dries when you think that you've gotten all the paper off, if it dries hazy at all, then um, you want to repeat this step because the there's still paper left on the image. And then once you've gotten all of the paper off, we suggest that you seal your image with a coat of luster just to add that extra durability. So I'm going to show you this. So here's a box that I did previously that is on a unpainted piece of wood and you can see that it has a little bit of haze left and you can see right here that it's cloudy and right here and a little bit over here. That's what I was telling you about, that sometimes you leave a little bit of paper and you don't know until it's dry. So then you're going to just take your sponge and you're just going to rub away that little bit of paper. And, and then once you've gotten all of your paper off, it should look like something like that. And then we do suggest that you seal your piece with at least one coat of luster just for that extra durability. And if you have any questions or would like to find more information out about Miss Lillian's Image Transfer Cream, you can go on MissLillianspaint.net under the FAQ section. Thank you.